Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome to this tutorial. Um, I want to apologize for not uploading a video in such a long time. There's just been such of a there's so many problems that are on right now. I can't even explain, but I'll I will make another video for that later. But for right now, I'm making the, this tutorial. So I'm going to be basically showing you how to make your own custom menu bar, menu navigation bar, um, without using fireworks. Uh, let's say you only have Photoshop and you want to make this this cool menu bar for your website or project or whatever in Photoshop you don't have fireworks I'm just bringing that scenario out so I'm gonna be showing you how to do it okay so to start off we need to make a new template I have this template at exactly the width is exactly at a thousand and the height is exactly at 800 um, depends this can this shape and size can vary depending on how you want to customize this. Um, but once that's your size has been chosen, we're going to grab the shape tool, and to be more exact, we're going to grab the rounded rectangle tool, and we're going to make a nice shape crossing the whole template. Now we're going to take the color up here, and I usually change it to around black. Um, and I'm going to move this up just a little bit so it's in the center. Now we're going to add the gradient to the layer. To do that, we need to right click on the layer and hit rasterize layer. And now we need to grab the pen tool. The pen tool is for selecting the actual shape itself since it doesn't since Photoshop doesn't recognize that the shape is one thing and one object only. So if you put the gradient on it would do it to the whole template, not just the side or to just just the object. It would do it to the whole template. Once the selection's done, we want to right click on it and hit make selection. Um, so that's kind of, <laughs> sorry about that. This basically makes a mask and you can choose whether or not you want to make a selection or not. Um, and now in the selection, or making the selection window, I usually set the feather radius around two or three. You can choose. And I want to take the gradient tool now. And what we're going to do is just go from down to up. There we go. Actually, bring it up to down. Ah, uh, down to up. There we go. Uh, actually, let's see how that looks. Yeah, it looks better. Okay, and then right click, or actually grab the selection tool and right click on it and hit um, deselect. And there we go. We have our nice menu bar. Um, a touch to add to this is if you go to the shape tool and grab the line tool, you can take and change the color a little bit, maybe a little whiter. You can make little lines to separate each tab. And what I do is to basically avoid the pressure of having each line the same, I duplicate the, the line layer. So right click on the layer, duplicate layer. I do that a few times. So I just basically And basically what we're going to do is, if you want to, you can add text to it. I don't, I, this is just something that I like it to add on. Um, completely optional. You can do this in Dreamweaver as well. Um, videos I guess um There we go. So thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about this tutorial, please comment them below, or you can comment them on my website at sportsfem100.net. Um, I'm currently, sportsfem100.net is currently under construction. I'm still working on it, um, 
and redoing the full template. I'm also working on another website for a business, so that's why it's taking so long. But thank you for watching. Stay con stay with um up to date with me and soon the website will be back on. So thank you for watching and I will see you later.